What is going on guys, DBG here. Today we're gonna be talking about the new set in my team. And I didn't realize we're gonna literally show the whole set at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So I li I went and played. I made I made probably the worst decision I've ever made. I've made content wise in a long, long time. Probably the worst decision I have made in a while. And it was to go to a, <laughs> it was to go play, try to play a basketball match. Um and I am my I'm really not there. I'm really not there in terms of uh, strength work and trying to get my leg back. The more I've, I've been trying to work my way back playing basketball, work a bit of conditioning in and playing a little bit, and I've realized that it has come at the expense of strength work, and I haven't gotten any better in a month. So that has not been a great. Um, that has not been great, and that is me finito, finito for uh, for the year. Either way, though. We're gonna talk about some good content coming tomorrow, and I mean really good content for all of us. Here we go. Here we go. We go here. We have got this lineup. We've got these guys right here. So pink diamonds, we got Robert Pack, Dino Raja, the GOAT Dino Raja. We have got Anferny Simons. Simons will be good. With that release on quick, he'll be good. We got Gerald Green. We've got maybe the most relevant player in this entire set in Mark Eaton. As if you guys don't know, Mark Eaton is a big body, big player who's not going to be able to shoot, but he's likely at 75 speed. We're looking at the closest thing to a Yao Stopper. The only problem is that a lot of people are going to be like, Porzingis is a Yao Stopper. I hate to say this, lads. He's not going to be one. That man is not going to be a Yao Stopper because if, Yao, if you cannot stop Yao with the other Porzingis just because of the height, not gonna stop him with this one. You're not gonna stop him with this one. Lamelo Ball is very interesting because if you don't you guys don't know Lamelo, last year on his all of his dark matters he was six foot eight. So Lamelo was six foot six last year. If you guys didn't look at this in 2K database, Lamelo Ball is six foot six on his pink diamond and on his. First Dark Matter, he's six foot seven. I didn't even realize that he was six seven on his first Dark Matter, and then he was six eight on his second Dark Matter. So he was six seven, six six on this Dark Matter, six seven or six 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 on his Pink Diamond, six seven on this Dark Matter, and then he became six eight on all of his other cards. So what I'm guessing is that Lamelo, because all of these were the end game cards, I'm guessing Lamelo is going to be six foot seven. If I was to guess, he would be six foot seven. And Lamelo could be the best point guard in this game because Lamelo Ball's sigs this year are really, really good. Uh, if you look in 2K23 for Lamelo Ball, this man's sigs are really, really good. And as long as they just up a few of the dribbling, because like if you look at Lamelo here, the guy's got Jordan dribble style, Lamelo defense stance, which is fine. If they give him a better escape, um, and they give him. He has normal leaner. He already has Lamelo and quick. Honestly, if they just give him a better escape and they give him some better defensive stats, and he's missing some key badges, they go and give him anchor. They get they give him a better give him gold or half clamps, and give him range. Like we're looking at probably the best point guard in the game, um, outside of like the, the big three of the three six nine guys. At least this at least Lamelo will be usable. He might be at least Lamelo might be fun to use. That is the big thing. At least Lamelo Ball might be actually fun, which is a uh, which is something that we can't say about most of the cards on this list. Lamelo could actually kind of be be a little bit fun. So uh, yeah, um, let's talk about the opals. Jonathan Isaac is probably going to be my guy. Like if I'm looking at this set right here, I'm never going to be able to afford the dark matters. Assuming Jonathan Isaac is 40k, I'm, what my guess is that all of these opals are going to be between 40 and 60k. I think we probably see, um, I think we probably see four. Like you might be saying, oh, but like Jonathan Isaac's so good, but like so is Michael Porter Jr., so is Rudy Gay, and Kyle Korver's release is unbelievable. So what they can't, like, not all of these guys can be 60k, um, unless of course they. Uh, and not all these can be 60 unless 2K screw the odds, which they might do. So honestly, for me, you're looking at the pink diamonds. 
at most we're looking at Mark Eaton being, but because Mark Eaton's a 96 and not 95, he's likely to be less rare, which is weird. But he's most of the time 95 pink diamonds, and we're going for the really rare pink diamonds. Like the Denny's, the um, the Bull Bowls from previous years have always been 95. But uh, I will say that in general, I'll take, I think there is going to be, look, Robert Pack's not going to be very good. Anthony Simon's probably not going to be very good. He's a 6'3 point guard. Gerald Green will be fine. Tony Allen's probably going to suck because his release sucks. As far as pink diamonds go, Dino has potential to be really good. Mark Eaton's going to be mo a mobile 7 4 player. None of these Opals are going to be bad. Horvath's release is already elite. MPJ, Rudy Gay, and Jonathan Isaac are three guys that when they get their release on quick are going to be elite. It's likely every player here other than Mark Eaton gets Mar um, Jordan Dribble style. And the two Dark Matters are going to be absolutely elite. So, if you are somebody that has a 100k squad, when, there's so many good shooting guards that I don't know how good Gerald Green's going to be. I think he was alright. Like, he had a card earlier in the year, didn't he? Did he have... Gerald Green, yeah, he had that Season 3 card. His release was good. He has Jalen McDaniels, Justin Holly. That's a good release. And that card... Did he have Jordan? No, he had Jad Dribble Style. He might still keep Jad Dribble Style, to be honest. He still has a good leaner. Um, He'll get defense. So, at worst case scenario, he'll be a good card. He's going to be 7 KMT. Like, we're at the stage now where Pink Diamonds are going to be 7 or 8 KMT. And he's going to be a really nice Pink Diamond for 7 or 8 K. So, we're now at the stage where budget players really can't compete. Except for, obviously, against Yao Ming. And then, the crazy thing is, is that when I said that there's going to be... um that the only player that had a chance was, or you never had a chance to stop him, yeah, I mean, for a budget player, Mark Eaton will be there. Mark Eaton's not going to be expensive because the guy is not going to be fun to use. He's not going to be glitchy like Yara Taco. But at 7 foot 4, he's not going to be, and he, Taco's not going to be glitchy against him. His job is there, is going to be to stop Yao. And he's going to probably do it at a better rate than anybody else. Because, like, Taco can't stop Yao. The only thing with Taco is that Taco can beat Yao on the other end. Um... So I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one, lads. I think it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a good one. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Are you guys looking forward to this? Are you guys looking forward to like Dino, Isaac, Rudy Gay, Mellow or Kristaps? I'm honestly the players that I'm looking forward to the most. Look, if you have millions of MT, sure, look for Lamelo or Kristaps. But as somebody who is very much penny pinching, like. I don't really want to buy much VC, and I'm going to open some packs because, well, I got to make my money back, unfortunately. I got to make my money back. And I also spent legal tender changing my name to Yee Yalen. So I need to make the money back for my name change to Yee Yalen. Hopefully this video will change, will help me make my money back from that. Because Yee Yalen, <laughs> I changed my name to Yee Yalen. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? But anyway, yeah, that is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.